Today I thought I'd do a uh, quick tutorial on how to edit or process infrared photos using Affinity Photo. And I'm going to show you what you can do with both uh, making and processing the infrared uh, photo in color and in making it black and white if you want to use black and white. Now the first thing that we really want to do here is actually what's called color swapping. And you may have done this before if you're used to doing this in Photoshop already uh, and you want to just switch over to Affinity Photo for whatever reason, uh, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to uh, use the channel mixer in Affinity Photo just like you would in Photoshop. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch the channels. Uh, we're going to switch red to blue and blue to red. And what that will do is actually make this sky up here a blue color. Now, in this particular picture and with this particular camera and this particular filter, which I believe is a 720 nanometer filter over the sensor, uh, which lets in that range of infrared light, uh, this foliage came out very neutral white in here. But the sky is actually a, a yellowish color. This almost looks like a, a negative for, from an old color negative in a sense. It has that yellow cast over the back of it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and click Develop, which actually converts this into a file format that um, Affinity Photo can um, edit because we, we're working with a raw uh, photo file here. And so now we have one that's in the Affinity Photo format. And so then we're going to go up here to the layer and go to New Adjustment Layer and find Channel Mixer. So we're on the red channel. If you look right up here, it says red. So it says red 100 and everything else is zeroed out. That's the default for the red channel. So we're going to zero out the red. Hit enter. And we're going to go down to the blue and put 100 in and then hit enter. And so that has swapped the red channel to blue. So now we go up here and we select the blue channel. And we go down to where it says blue here and we enter zero, which zeroes it out. And then we're going to go back up to um, the red and add 100 in and hit enter. And so now, as you can see, uh, the photo looks pretty nice. Uh, it has a blue sky in it. Um, the foliage looks red, maybe slightly a little bit of magenta in there or yellow. Uh, and uh, that will vary uh, depending on various factors. It just varies by photo and how much infrared light's coming on it, what type of filter you have on it and such. So the next thing we may want to do is we may want to go up here and we're gonna to go to layer again and add an adjustment layer for white balance. And one thing we can do is we can go down here and click on the picker and we could actually uh, click on the foliage somewhere and depending on what foliage, you can see it changes the foliage color slightly there, uh, depending on what we pick uh, as the neutral color. Also, if there's something in here, like there's a wall along here, if we make that gray, it may change it. So you can just click until you find something that looks nice to you. And then the other thing you can do is you can then, once you uh, uh, try to find something that you want to be a neutral white or uh, color you can go and then you can adjust the balance up here so we could make the foliage look a little bit more yellow or a little bit more blue depending on what we want we're going to put it right about there so this gives you a good point to mess with your color balance on this and how you want the picture depending on um, the actual photo and in, in how it's picked up the infrared and such. Now, it's good to get to this point before you make it um, black and white. Some people like to just make the infrared uh, black and white infrared and not mess with the colors because uh, it can get complex and some pictures don't really look that great in color. Uh, some look better. They, they look different sometimes, but sometimes you get a, a picture that comes out really nice in color. And other times it looks, it just pops more when it's in black and white. 
But I would suggest go ahead and switch the channels because it actually makes it easier to adjust the black and white once you've at least switched the channels and, uh, and done your white balance on the switched channels. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to the layers again and we're going to make another adjustment layer and we're going to go to black and white. And so now it's turned it to black and white. But the really nice thing about this is we have red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta levels that we can all, we can adjust all of those. So the sky usually comes out blue or cyan. In this case, I think we're a little more cyan. So if we darken the cyan, we can adjust the sky, as you can see. If we go down here to blue, I don't think much happens. Now, because it's not really blue, it's a little more cyan. Also, you should be able to adjust the red and darken the sky and lighten the sky as well a little bit. Since that's the, uh, that's the opposite of, of cyan, although it doesn't seem to be affecting it in this case, but it is affecting the foliage or the, uh, the uh, shadows and highlights in the foliage a little bit there. Uh, but also, if we go over here to the yellow, I think foliage had a lot of yellow in it so we can adjust this to change the way it looks and you can just experiment with each of those levels depending on the picture and how you white balanced it and it whether you shifted the channels or not it's going to affect that as well but it's it's a good thing that you can experiment with so that gives you all the basics of what you can do in in to get a good starting point for a color edit on one of your infrared photos or for a black and white edit on one of your infrared photos and uh, so you can start from here and it will be a, a good start for you if you've done it before in Photoshop this just basically shows you how you can do it in affinity photo if you want to switch over